said near stir my heart. I'm well. I thank the Lord for that. I'm home. Yes. I thank him even more for that. Yes. And I certainly don't want to get up before any of the brother and I know that Brother Lonnie looked like he was about ready to get up and say something. But, um, and forgive me for a minute, Brother Lonnie, but I listen to my pastor. And, uh, you know, God is a, uh, God's a comedian. Amen. Because what God was sitting here stirring me for, I had something I wanted to read to the Webb family. And uh, Brother Marlowe got up there and he was preaching about the 21st century, about when he got off the shuttle. How everybody was looking at their phone and everything else. Well, unfortunately, what he wanted me to read was on my phone. <laughs> so I've been sitting here in this uh, pew and I've been trying to figure out how can I hide my phone in my Bible where Brother Marlowe can't see it. <laughs> And I knew that uh, sure as the world, if I got up here and started doing it, that the phone would fall out of the Bible and there it would be all over. But anyway, I have. Uh, Go ahead and read it. I have something that uh, that God went and allowed me to run across about a year ago, and uh, it when I ran across it, I, I I don't even remember where I got it. But I know I ran across it, and I know it touched my heart. It was about a year ago this month. And this is for the Boyette family, if you would just listen to this. When I come to the end of the road, yes. and the sun has set for me, yes. I want no lights in a glum-filled glum room. Why cry for a soul set free? <laughs> Miss me a little, but not too long, and not with your head bowed low. Remember the love that we once shared. Miss me, but let me go. For this is a journey that we all must take, and each must go alone. It's all a part of the Master's plan, a step on the road to home. When you are lonely and sick of heart, go to the friends we knew and bury your sorrow in doing good deeds. Miss me, but let me go. God bless you all. Yeah.